Hello Leo, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. Let's see. So we have forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. We'll see why you're getting this card, Leo, and how it resonates with your reading for today. But we are going to focus on you first, and we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind, the roles can be reversed, and time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening, or maybe happening at a later date. How does Leo currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the seven of pentacles. We also have the five of pentacles. And then we also have the four of swords. Could be dealing with an earth sign strongly. So a Taurus Virgo, maybe even a Capricorn. But there's something that you invested a lot of time and energy towards. And it could very well have a lot to do with a relationship. But even though it didn't necessarily go, I almost want to say according to plan, right? Um, you're accepting that. And you're making peace with that, which is really nice to see. You know, even though you could very well be, you know, reflecting back on this relationship in particular, like, you know, it wasted a lot of your time and a lot of your resources and a lot of your energy. You're accepting that. You're definitely accepting that because you're fully aware, Leo, that you can't necessarily go back into time and change absolutely anything. Um, so the fact that you're moving into this place of acceptance is really nice to see. The fact that you're making peace with whatever it is that you were investing so much time and energy towards and unfortunately it didn't work out in your favor, you're also accepting that as well. Okay. Actually, before I jump over to this, to this person, I want to look at the uh, Five of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Five of Pentacles. You know, I really like the way that you're looking at your current situation because even though it didn't necessarily go the way that you wanted it to you're accepting that it's almost in a sense where you're kind of looking at this entire situation and experience like a sign from the divine that it just wasn't meant to be sort of speak and this could have a lot to do with a relationship this could have a lot to do with a relationship but i like the way that you're looking at your situation the way you're processing everything um you know you're not looking at this entire situation with any sort of uh regret by any means you know it is what it is right but you're kind of looking at this entire situation like you know what it is what it is i was supposed to learn something from this experience it's time to get up and move on with my life how does this person currently view oh god i was like oh god uh, we got the mm. Mm. I'm like, mm. whoever this person is, and this could very well be the person that you know you recently experienced a separation from. Whoever this person is, like, th there's something about them wanting to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you. Have the magician though that's what's really kind of calling my attention here let me look at the magician i'm kind of i'm kind of curious as to why that came out it's, how it, it's weird i feel like whoever this person is and this could very well be the person that you've probably recently walked away from but yeah this is somebody who wants to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you it's weird because they feel like if they were to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you they'll be able to kind of work their magic on you and get what they want out of you which is really interesting time more about the magician yeah mm. lord we have the seven of swords we have the uh yeah this person this person over here, this king of wands, and don't get caught up in the gender because nothing's gender specific. Even though they're coming across as a king doesn't necessarily make them a male. They can be a female. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, whoever this person is, they really did self-sabotage things here um, between you and them. But And that's something that they're well aware of, right? But yeah, there's something about this person in particular that, like, they want to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you, but it's coming from a place of, like, well, I just know, right, that if I could just have a face-to-face -face conversation uh, with Leo, you know, I can get what I want out of this entire situation. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go back to you, Leo. Let's go back to you. How does Leo currently feel? 
Okay, Leo, let's see what's going on. So we have the um, death card. We have the queen of swords to the two of wands. All right, so this is what's interesting about your reading. The fact that the overall energy of wanting to approach you is definitely there. I don't see them doing it just yet, but it's more than likely going to happen is basically what I'm trying to let you know, Leo. Now, the only reason why I'm mentioning that is because it's not showing up on your end, which is kind of making me feel like all of the overall energy um, is definitely there as far as like them extending themselves to you, them wanting to have this face-to-face -face conversation with you. Like the overall energy to do that is definitely there. They're just not doing it right now for whatever reason. Um, and like I said, it should have showed up on your end if they were to like, how do I say this? they were to reach out to you and contact you it would have showed up on your end and it's not showing up on your end just based off of the cards that you're basically getting it's more of that overall energy of acceptance coming from you um you know one thing that i absolutely love though about you and just the way that you're kind of perceiving your entire situation here it's it's very rare for me to actually see this in a reading so i really do like the overall energy that you're harnessing right now but nonetheless um you know as things are drastically changing right um especially in regards to your situation with this person in particular you're really trying to figure out like okay what do i want to do next with my life um you know a lot of you could very well be focusing on your future right now and you know just overall changes you want to kind of make uh when it comes down to you know just you know, your own personal life, right? Uh, currently at the moment also too, and it's something that I am kind of realizing about you is that if this does, let's say for example, have everything to do with like a romantic situation, um, it kind of looks like a lot of you are choosing to kind of take a little bit of a break from love. And it does have a lot to do with this entire experience that you just had uh, with this person in particular. Um, you know, it has caused you to essentially realize that, you know, maybe this is a time to really focus on yourself and your overall healing and your future and things of that nature. So I do see you kind of, I do see you kind of putting love uh, on the back burner for now it's not to say that you're harnessing this overall energy of like that's it I never want to be with another person ever again in my life it's not coming from that place it's mainly coming from you know a place of you essentially feeling like all right this is the time right where you focus on yourself this is a time where you focus on your overall healing your future the things that you want to accomplish for yourself you're making a lot of changes that's one thing that I will say you're making a lot of changes here um but nonetheless I just I don't really see you prioritizing love right now. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, given given the circumstances here with that five of swords to the ten of swords attached to a two of cups, I mean, I don't blame you. How does this person currently feel? Okay. So we have the ace of cups for them. Come on. We also have the page of pentacles. And then we also have the uh, page of swords at the bottom of the deck. Interesting. We have the five of cups. You know what's crazy is that before I looked into this person, remember that I was talking to you just now, obviously, about you not really prioritizing love right now. You not really wanting. It's not that you don't want. It's, it's, it's not a weird energy, but it's not that you don't want anything to do with love. It's just not a priority to you right now. Like there's other things that you rather focus on, right? And that's just kind of where your overall energy is at, which is kind of crazy to me because of the cards that this person's uh, coming out with. Now keep in mind, all right, this person did come across as a king of wands. Uh, now we have a queen of wands here on the table, making it a true pair situation here between you and this person. This person does kind of have this massive fear that you're going to meet someone else and that they're going to lose you for good, okay? Which I find it to be kind of crazy because of the conversation that I just had with you as far as like you're not really prioritizing love right now. You're not really wanting anything to do with it because you rather kind of focus on other things, right? But yeah, uh, this person, they, they, they definitely fear that you're going to end up meeting someone very soon and they're going to end up losing you for good. Hmm. Now... Again, you know what's really weird about all of this as far as like, you know, on their end is concerned is that even though they have this massive fear, right, that they're going to end up losing you and that you're going to end up meeting someone else and you're just going to move on with your life and you're going to forget all about them. Um, the attempt, you know, to try to work things out, it's, it's, it, it's there, it's there, it's there, but they're not busting a move in your direction here which i find it to be kind of interesting but let's keep going let's see what else we can get here 
All right. What actions will this person take towards Leo or moving forward? Hmm. Okay. We have this, not the Six of Cups. Weird. I'm like the Six of Cups. Why did I get the Six of Cups? The Six of Cups is a reminiscing energy. It's a reminiscing energy. It's weird because obviously we don't have the Six of Cups out here. We have the Queen of Cups. They could very well be thinking about you a lot and just reminiscing on the relationship that they um, once upon a time had with you. That can definitely be the case. That could definitely be the case. Um, but I'll break this person's overall energy down in a minute. I just want to kind of look at your energy. What actions will Leo take towards this person when moving forward? No? Okay. So, Leo, you're kind of still harnessing that energy, right, that I already kind of mentioned, right? You're really focusing more on yourself, more on, you know, just the things that you want to manifest and create for yourself. You know, you're starting to kind of reach this level of feeling happy, whole, and complete all by yourself. Nothing wrong with that. But, you know, with that Two of Swords energy that's coming out here for you, I kind of feel like you're really tuning, and I'm going to look into it just to confirm, but I feel like you're really kind of tuning out the um, the idea, right, of like jumping into another situation with another person for right now. You're really tuning that idea out, and a lot of you might feel like, you know, this is just the time uh, for you to really focus on yourself right now and focus on the things that essentially make you happy, you know, things of that nature, but I do want to clarify this to a sword. Yeah, you're tuning the idea out. You're tuning the idea out as far as like jumping into another relationship with another person. You know, it does kind of have that feel to it. Now, with the Knight of Swords coming out here for you, this could very well insinuate that there could very well be someone new entering your life very, very soon. Um, and, and this person in particular that's entering your life might be somebody who does want to pursue a relationship with you. If that is the case where you are meeting someone new and someone's trying to pursue a romantic situation with you, I don't see you... Um, I don't really see you giving that person the time and or day and it has a lot to do with the fact that you just don't want to you just don't want to do that right now okay you just don't want to do that right now right now what you want to do is focus on yourself right now what you want to do um and you know is get to that place in your life where you do feel happy whole and complete and eventually you'll get there and eventually when you do feel ready for a relationship you're not gonna have an issue with going after it but for right now it just kind of looks like there's a lot of things that you need to kind of focus on you know as far as your overall healing is concerned moving past this entire situation you know things of that nature but with the queen of cups to the ten of swords um to the two of wands this is kind of like an overall energy of somebody who's under this impression that um they, they lost someone for good. It does kind of have that feel. So let's look a little bit more into this. Oh my gosh, look at this. I just split the deck. I'm not even joking. And look at what came out at the bottom. The Six of Cups. I was like, when I saw the Queen of Cups, the Six of Cups came to my mind. There is like a reminiscing energy, like I said, you know, at play here. I do feel like they're reminiscing and thinking about you a lot. Um, but let's keep going. Time more about the two of wands. So we have the Wheel of Fortune. We also have the uh, King of Pentacles. Then we have the Five of Wands. And then we also have the Judgment card. Okay. So this person is per it, this person is perceiving you as somebody who's completely and utterly done with them. Okay. And that in itself is a very painful thing for this person to accept. Okay. But nonetheless... This person's very determined to fight for what it is that they want here. And they feel pretty confident that if they fight for what it is that they want, this could definitely work out in this person's favor. And I do see them eventually resurfacing back up here for you, even though the overall energy of wanting to do it right now is definitely there for whatever reason they're not doing it. Um, and like I said, I'm not entirely sure why that is, but... There's going to come a point in time where this person is going to resurface back up here for you and fight for what it is that they actually want here. Um, and they, they feel pretty confident 
that this entire situation can turn out in this person's favor. But what's interesting is the way that they want to go about it. It's almost in a sense where they feel like if they were to have like a a face-to-face -face conversation with you, they'll get the outcome that they want. Um, so in other words, this person might not feel confident enough to like go back and forth with you via text um, or email and stuff like that. They kind of feel like the only way this magic of theirs is going to work on you is if in the event they come you know, into contact with you and they have that face-to-face -face conversation with you because that keeps coming up for this person of, you know, them wanting to have a face-to-face -face conversation with you because they feel and think and believe that they can get the outcome that they want that way instead of going down like another route, like texting you, calling you, things of that nature. Um, let's see the outcome here between the two of you. Um, what do I want to take out? Do I want to take out anything? Mm, no, not really. What's the outcome here between Leo? Ooh, Jesus. Well, not shocked, right? Are you? I'm not. They're going to be, but I'm not. Um, we have the death card. We have the ten of swords. We have the justice card to the four of swords to the king of wands this is like an overall energy of somebody being forced to accept um the fact that someone's done here and uh oh boy is it a tough pill to swallow man that that that's one thing that i will say that's one thing that i will say i think that this person's being forced to accept the fact that you're done here and it's a tough pill to swallow. Like that, that, that's one thing that I will say. And listen, like they were already kind of looking at you. Like you're done. Like you're done. Uh, and you don't want anything to do with them. Even though they're gonna fight for this either which way, they are looking at you like you're done. You know, like it's one of those situations where they feel like if they don't fight for what it is that they want, the likelihood of well, I don't even want to say that either, actually. I take that back. I take that back. They know you're not going to fight for this. That's actually what I wanted to say. They know that you're not going to fight for this, so therefore, they kind of have no choice but to get up and fight for this, being this relationship, right? Because they know you're not going to do it. They know that you're not going to do it, so they feel like at this point, they kind of have no choice but to get up and fight for what it is that they want because they're looking at you like, yeah, they're not going to do it, so I got to get up and do this. Um... Yeah, they're being forced to accept the fact that someone's done here, and I do feel like that is you. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Swords for them. We also have the uh, Knight of Swords. Oh, here we go. With the Eight of Cups of the Tower. I feel like this is your overall energy, Leo. Like, you're walking away from this entire situation, and you don't have any sort of intentions of looking back. However, with that tower coming out here for you, it, it's almost in a sense where... This person's kind of standing in your way. I just stabbed myself. Great. Um, okay, I'm fine. Um, but yeah, it's like you're trying to walk away from this entire situation and put it all behind you. But it, with that tower, man, it just feels like someone's standing in your way. And I feel like it's this person that's standing in your way. Let's look at the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Swords and then we'll wrap this up. Can I remember about the Ace of Swords to the Knight of Swords, please? Wait, please. Don't fall. Don't fall. Okay. Let's see. You know, the thing is, is that what's kind of making this entire process a little bit more challenging and difficult for this person has a lot to do with what they're telling themselves, okay? You know, what they're telling themselves is that they can't let this go. What they're telling themselves is that um, they just can't move past this. And I kind of feel like that's what's really keeping this person stuck in this situation uh, to the point where it is very difficult and challenging for this person to just let this go and just move forward and move on with their life. But it has a lot to do with what they're telling themselves. Like they're telling themselves, I can't let this go. I can't move on with my life. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And the more you sit there and tell yourself you can't do something, you're going to end up believing that you can't, right? And that's just kind of what we're seeing here on this person's behalf. They could even be telling you that too. They could be communicating that to you that they just can't let this go. They just can't move on with their life, you know, whatever, whatever. But again, this person's being forced to accept something that they don't want to. And it is a tough pill for this person to swallow, but it is something that they're just going to um, have to accept. So we have trust 
And then we also have give your relationship a chance. You know, these two people are not on the same page. See, the thing with this person is that they want to kind of rectify things here. But the thing is, is that you don't with release your ex and getting to know each other. Getting to know each other, it's very so much like the Three of Pentacles for me anyways as a reader. And I tend to look at the Three of Pentacles as like a like a repairing energy, right? Um, like a starting over energy. You don't even want to do that. That's the thing is like you don't even want to do that. So these two people are not on the same page by any means. Um, and because these two people are not on the same page and you don't want to continue on in this relationship, but they do, that's why this overall energy is coming out for this person because no matter how they want to look at this entire situation, it kind of looks like they have no choice at this point but to just accept their situation even though it's going to be extremely painful and it's going to be a very difficult pill for this person to swallow i mean it is what it is you're not at this point you know um but leo hopefully the reading helped hopefully it resonated also too for those of you who want to follow me on instagram it's linked in the description box down below and i will see you guys in your next reading bye